Scientists may have just mapped the first real address for humans on Mars, here's what happened, and why it matters. On December 27, 2025, a team led by planetary geologist Erica Luzzi announced they have identified a region in northern Amazonas Planitia, where water ice likely lies less than a meter below the Martian surface. Using ultra-sharp images from NASA's high-rise camera, they searched for telltale features, polygon-patterned ground and fresh craters exposing bright material that usually mark buried ice. This mid-latitude zone gets enough sunlight for solar panels but stays cold enough to preserve frozen water over long timescales, making it unusually practical for a long-term base. Ice at shovel depth is a game-changer. Astronauts could melt it for drinking water, split it into oxygen for breathing, and turn it into hydrogen-oxygen rocket fuel instead of hauling those tons from Earth. The site is also a scientific goldmine. Subsurface ice can trap organic molecules, dust, and gases, preserving a layered record of Martian climate and maybe even traces of ancient microbes. Lutzi's group now wants radar mapping to pin down how thick and continuous the ice deposits really are before anyone stakes a mission on them. Eventually, only a lander or crew with a drill can confirm how much usable ice is there and how hard it is to extract. I think this is one of the first studies that makes a human Mars outpost feel logistically real. It shows that picking the right patch of ground could be the difference between a stunt mission and a sustainable foothold.